Say when. Okay. You're good. Okay, so today we're just gonna do a quick video on how to replace the low wheel assembly and the tapping. There's uh, two ways to do this. The quickest way will be right here. So there's a roll pin right here. You punch it through and this whole assembly will be able to lift right up. And from there on, all you need is a near nose pliers. Ah, uh, not near nose, snap ring pliers. You take out that snap ring. Here, why don't we go ahead and do it? Show it how easy it is. So, hammer and a punch. And here's your roll pan. Come right out, save that so we can use it later. And just use your punch. get the axle to the wheel assembly and this whole contraption come right out so to replace this piece all you have to do is pull the snap ring out Oop. get a smaller plier get the snap ring out pull out that pin Same concept, just knock it out to the other side. You gotta do it like that. Now come right out. That's the wheel assembly. And to replace the tappet, all you have to do is twist it. And it will come right out. Now this is the quickest method. Now the, sec the easiest method is right here would take out, if you take out the snap ring and pull this pin out, <clears throat> this whole assembly will come right out. Now, when you take off the snap ring up here, it make it easier to adjust the height on the pallet jacks. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and take that out and I'll show you why we, this will be the easiest method. <clears throat> snap rings out, the pin. And when this go back on, it doesn't matter which orientation, it just gotta go back on. So you got that piece out. Now if the whole wheel assembly is disassembled, so we're just gonna put this back on real fast. As you can see, the orientation of this rod is very important. See this indentation? It needs to be facing, well, technically up when you flip the fork upside down. So it needs to go up and the wheels, <clears throat> And the assembly is going to go in just like that. So you put this pin back in. Sometimes it takes a little effort. And then your snap ring. So let's take our in some weird stuff up here. Snap ring's on. And then, let's see. And then you just put this right back on. Now, you gotta make sure this hole lined up with this side. So you get go through here. Oops. Knock it in. And once you get started, you can turn it in there. Roll pin go back on there. It's gonna go in just like that. Now we could get. Now we get to this part right here. Now the reason I took this off because you can actually spin this piece, and you can see the difference right here. You can actually increase or decrease the distance. Now, the more distance this half between this and the end of the this little rocker right here the longer it is the higher the wheel will, will rise on a once you lower it so we got to make sure it's match on length on both so just when you get the parts just twist back in 
get them as close as you can. Just but close the same length as you can. Pin back on. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain this part because I don't have a wheel down there. But anyways, you put that pin in as long as you go in. That's it. And use your snap ring. Two more snap ring. Okay. And put it back in there. Now, if there was a wheel here, this whole assembly is complete. And that's all to it.